Never wash his ass. <laughs> yeah, definitely, man. Um, Candles, notes, and hugs. We're learning more about the person shot at a Walgreens in San Francisco. Good evening. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thank you for joining us. A vigil took place tonight outside the Walgreens where the 24-year-old victim was shot last night. The store security guard is under arrest and is accused of murder. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland is hearing how the victim was involved in the community. Now, just think about this. Yeah, the community. He was responsible for 42% of the crime in that community. Think about this. This, this guy right here. So far, we've heard that he's a victim. And, like, just think about the lead-up. You will never know that we're talking about an armed robbery. We're talking about an armed robbery where the fucking suspect was shot. Candles, notes, and hugs. We're learning more about the person shot at a Walgreens in San Francisco. Good evening. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thank you for joining us. A vigil took place tonight outside the Walgreens where the 24-year-old victim was shot last night. The store security guard is under arrest and is accused of murder. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland is hearing how the victim was involved in the community. As layers of candles, flowers, and balloons sit outside of Walgreens on Market and 4th Street, friends mourned the person they knew as Banco Brown, who was shot inside the store Thursday. Banco was loved by many, many people. Julia Arroyo is the co-executive director of the Young Women's Freedom Center, a leadership and advocacy organization that works with people that have navigated violence and poverty. Arroyo said Brown had been involved with the organization since they were just 12 years old and was currently serving as a community organizing intern. He did participatory action research. So He did participatory. So is it a man or a woman? Because they, they, they're saying person a lot. And I can't tell if this is a man or a woman. That's a, I think that's a girl. That's a girl, and she's identified. She identifies as a man. I thought it was just a messy girl. So, 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 so now here's the new thing. So, so now dykes are trans now. <laughs> I'm like glad that you just a fucking dyke. Yeah, it's all confusing for me, man. To be fair. So now, so now, Dykes is trans, and um, and and fucking um, fucking fat homos are trans too. It's like it's like this trans shit is it, their numbers are exploding because these people are identifying as trans. This would have just been a fucking dyke back in the day, man. Hell yeah, they're expanding the army. Yeah, he would have just been a fucking dyke. You know, she said that she's been um this person, whatever, has been um dealing with the program since it was twelve years old. Well, not at twenty four years old. Yeah, that program sucks. Banco <laughs> <laughs> was loved by many, many people. Julia Arroyo is the co-executive director of the Young Women's Freedom Center, a leadership and advocacy organization that works with people that have navigated violence and poverty. Arroyo said Brown had been involved with the organization since they were just 12 years old and was currently serving as a community organizing intern. He did participatory action research, so he collected data and surveys. And Look at this. This is what I've been telling you about these paid protesters. He's down there protesting for Iran. Remember when we, we were about to go to war with Iran? What was it like four years ago? Uh -huh, I remember that. He's down there protesting. This is his ass down there with a sign protesting that shit. These people get paid. They pay these transient homeless motherfuckers. In D.C., they do that a lot, too. Um, they'll, like, pay them to go in front of a building and walk in circles. They do, that slogan. They do that out here, too. Yeah. So these are he just he was just a fucking goddamn random fucking son thing or they or whatever the fuck he is and he just like what the fuck I mean like just a piece of shit and he got killed during an armed robbery. And an intern that means he ain't getting paid. Yeah. Since they were just 12 years old and was currently serving as a community organizing intern. He did participatory action research, so he collected data and surveys in the streets, assessing the needs of folks during the pandemic. He reached my heart. He really did reach my heart. He was so funny. He was so funny. He was so funny. He was so funny. 
she couldn't think of two things about him. She, 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 right. she right. So funny. Hey, hey, I can, can you can you imagine for one second if in Iran somebody was uh caping for the United States during all that oh. conflict? Solidarity with the USA. Can you imagine what they oh would do to them? My God. I never, oh my! I never thought of that. They they would know what it means to suffer like a dog. Yeah, exactly. Participatory action research. So he collected data and surveys in the streets, assessing the needs of folks during the pandemic. He reached my heart. He really did reach my heart. He was so funny. He was so funny. He was incredibly shy, and he was bold too. He was bold, and he knew what he was striving for. Yeah, he was bold. All right. <laughs> incredibly <laughs> shy and bold. bold. So shy, um, was yes, shy and bold. Look how bold he is. So shy, he's bold. Went all the way I, in the circle. Go back. Look how bold he was. Yeah, yeah. he was funny, funny, shy, and bold. <laughs> God damn, that's a fucking that motherfucker was goddamn schizophrenic, man. <laughs> funny, shy, and bold. Yeah, how you shy and bold? <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. This small fucker, man. Assessing the needs of folks during the pandemic. He reached my heart. He really did reach my heart. He was so funny. He was so funny. He was incredibly shy. And he was bold, too. He was bold, and he knew what he was striving for. But outside of work, Arroyo says it's Brown was show. dealing with their own struggles. She says Brown had been couch surfing while waiting on permanent housing. One of my last conversations with him is that he, he was in search of what home was. Police say the suspected shooter, 33-year-old Michael Earl Wayne Anthony, was a private in-store security guard for Walgreens. He's since been booked on homicide charges. Think about that, man. The fucking security guard, like this guy right here. He's in there fucking securing this place that's got smash and grabs all the time and people just coming in and taking big duffel bags worth of product out. People coming in here harassing people. He's working in here as a security guard, and some goddamn fucking son sh piece of shit could come in there and do an armed robbery and get shot by him, and he would be in fucking prison. Mm. Might be a glider either. Eesh. Yeah, put put that in your pipe and smoke it. When you just said that, let yeah, that I mean let that sizzle your spirit. Right, man. It's just it's just insane, man. This is insane. And this guy right here will not this is the thing about the people in San Francisco, why they're so bad in these other cities. They should be out speaking up for that security guard. Hell yeah. And people should be out like no, not, I mean loud with their chest out. We stand with that security guard, but no one. Not one person will come out and stand right, for that. Right. We stand with civil society, yeah. with public safety, with law and order. They're all down there lying about this fucking crackhead fucking son thing. Store security guard for Walgreens. He's since been booked on homicide charges. But details about what happened inside the store are still unclear. Well, that's how the call came out. The call came out. It was a shoplifter. San Francisco police say security guards can be armed with guns depending on the situation. Brown's cousin, who was also at the Walgreens, says this was avoidable. I just feel like guns shouldn't be allowed, like security wise, if you're not law enforcement, like police, you shouldn't have a gun because stuff. Eh, whatever, whatever. Bitches <laughs> could. Nobody have a gun but the sons. That's the wild part. The <laughs> fact that of uh, the fact that literally in America, what's it, 40 million black people? So it's um it's 20 million sisters. It's probably 10 million sisters voting age. Probably like 2 million of them are like her. Think about 2 million of her get the vote in this country. That is a travesty, man. That's scary. Yeah, that is People scary. like her have a vote. Yeah. Equal, one for one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's vote. just insane. This woman is retarded, man. And she's fucking um was there with the she was there when the guy was robbing the store. I was gonna say that like ain't she like 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 accomplished? Yeah, was avoidable. 
I just feel like guns shouldn't be allowed. Like security wise, if you're not law enforcement, like police, you shouldn't have a gun because mm. stuff like this happens <laughs> off a of little stuff. Nobody's life is worth something being stole from a store. And tell them that. Ago, she know, gave tell them that. This is ABC 7 News. Happening now, people are rallying to demand justice for Banco Brown, who was shot and killed at a San Francisco Walgreens last Thursday. A Walgreens security guard was taken into custody but has not been charged. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland uh, just spoke with protesters. Say his name! Banco Brown! Say his name! Hey, this is G4. <laughs> Four days after 24-year-old Banco Brown was shot and killed at a San Francisco Walgreens, a rally was held to demand justice. It's insane that Walgreens has armed security. There's nothing in that store worth a human life. Julio. <laughs> so why y'all still not at right. uh, Apparently, you need a gun in that in that Walgreens. Well, why apparently, you need one. It's still not that. Yeah, much. weren't they just blaming a gas station because they didn't have armed security on a fucking Sunday? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> True. Yo, this is this is like the Squid Games, green light, red light. Yeah, this is this is this is this woman has a vote. This woman gets the vote. I mean, she she's they fucking make, retarded. Damn, justice. It's insane that Walgreens. Look at this woman. She looked like George Went. I think <laughs> woman is. I think woman is very generous. Right. Yo, she got she got bigger problems than this shit right here. Jesus Christ! Was Norm? Her fucking neck Norm? Look at gravy. Or just like a chip. Right? Yeah, she like Norm from Cheers, man. The man just. It's <laughs> insane that Walgreens has armed security. <laughs> nothing in that no shit. In life. Julia Arroyo, co-executive director Norm of the had a baby. Freedom Center, says <laughs> this rally is also to demand housing specifically for Black trans youth. Being a Black trans. Demanding housing specifically for black trans youth. What the fuck? What the fuck did I do anything? What the fuck? Like, that's just crazy. It's Marxism. They're, they're hijacking, they hijacked the conversation. Yeah. It's all, this it's, is, it's, 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 yeah, no doubt. This isn't about him anymore. This is, this is, this is, well, it's about him and getting the fucking white security guard locked up, but also um, give us some. Houses specifically for black trans youth. Mm. Wow. She's worried about black trans youth. She ought to be worried about that sugar foot that's going to kill her. Specifically for black trans youth. Being a black trans man was, uh, it, it was complicated for him to be inside of a um, women's housing or men's housing. He was constantly being targeted. And so he, he just often talked about Wait, which one? For a home. Yeah, I still don't know which, which one. <laughs> yeah, you don't get the <laughs> test. Well, which house is the housing? <laughs> I'm confused. Who's targeting him? Like when I when they say about people, they always say people are targeting him. Maga, reality Maga homeless is targeting people. Homeless nah, Maga people. <laughs> reality is targeting him. He couldn't take it. That's just so he had to lash out at Walgreens. But really, we know who's targeting him, though. If we're being honest, yeah, there's no question. This is this is this is a bizarre story. Black trans man was it, it was complicated for him to be inside of a um, women's housing or men's housing. He was constantly being targeted, and so he he just often talked about where's my place for a home. She says Brown was one of their community organizing interns, and like many of the people connected with the center, he had been experiencing homelessness since he was just 12 years old. He was the next in line to receive his housing. But despite sometimes helping others get oh, resources damn. before him through the Young Women's Freedom Center, that call for permanent housing never came for Brown. Just seeing his urgency to get there and, you know, that this is the result. This is the result right here. And we should we should all be ashamed of ourselves in San Francisco. Police say this shooting was originally called in as a shoplifting incident, though a cousin who was with Brown Thursday evening tells ABC7 they were not shoplifting. Darren Stallcup, a neighbor who shops here daily, believes shoplifting in San Francisco is part of a much larger problem. People who are struggling to make a life for themselves, build a life for themselves, they're having an even more difficult time nowadays. What's happening right now in San Francisco is an absolute humanitarian crisis. This is not an isolated incident. San Francisco. 
this guy gets the vote too. This is sick, man. This guy's a fucking moron, man. Hey, so does this mean that Banco doesn't get the reparations money? The five million? Oh, no, nah, man. He's done. <laughs> He's pretty much dead on that, man. And he was that <laughs> close to success. <laughs> I'm about to say that. He was next on the list, you <laughs> bastard. Nah, they bullshit. He was no next on the goddamn list. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now nah, they're going to say that. <laughs> We are learning the San Francisco DA is not filing charges against a security guard arrested for shooting and killing a man at a downtown Walgreens Thursday. Now, community members have been calling for justice for Banco Brown and rallied outside of the store today. Tonight, the DA told us security footage of the incident shows that Banco used violence against the security guard. Oh, yeah, he came okay. back and he came back and hit the guy, I think, or something. They like knew that. this. Yeah. For, that doesn't but, matter. That's his job to take that beat. I, I they knew that. One, I just can I just say of one other thing. Of course they knew that. I, can I just say one other thing. I, I once hung out with George Wentz. This is real. Oh and, wow! And that's very unfair to George. <laughs> yeah, really, he, and he has a hot wife too. Yeah, I'm sure, man. Just just to let you know, I mean, you know, that very, I mean, you know, Thank you. in a beauty pageant, George wins. Okay. Okay. Thank you, man. Um, shout out to George Wint, man. Um, they knew this from day one, though. The thing about it is they knew all of this information from day one, and they still reported it as if this guy was a victim. This information was out day one. One. We are learning the San Francisco DA is not filing charges against a security guard arrested for shooting and killing a man at a downtown Walgreens Thursday. Now, community members have been calling for justice for Banco Brown and rallied outside of the store today. Tonight, the DA told us security footage of the incident shows that Banco used violence against the security guard. This was a shoplifting that really, based on the facts, turned into an escalated into a robbery. Uh, and the armed security guard did ultimately end up using lethal force. We had to evaluate the, the video, the statement of the security guard, multiple witness statements to figure out whether or not there was a credible claim of self-defense. Um, and we ultimately did not believe that we could prove beyond a reasonable doubt here that the security guard had committed murder our betty you in studio tonight and you spoke with the da on top of that you also attended the rally correct you were there covering it that's right jewel several people close to banco brown attended this rally outside walgreens calling for justice and demanding change from city officials and walgreens they said brown struggled with homelessness for years and often felt unsafe in shelters or other programs if banco if this beloved if this beloved Banco was so uh, cared about by his community and these other people that are showing up for him. Why didn't they let him live with them? Yeah, one of them must have an extra room. How's he homeless? They got yeah. an extra room somewhere. That's a great question um, because they're lying. They didn't give a shit about this guy. They didn't right. two shits about this guy. Yeah. They didn't know he was going to be bold, shy, or, or what else? Uh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> funny. <laughs> funny, funny. funny. Yeah. Bold, shy, and funny. That's a deadly... Trifecta, right there. They, 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 they didn't give two shits about this guy when he was alive. The George Floyd Other effect. programs. Yeah. Family, friends, and activists chanted his name outside Walgreens on Market Street. 24-year-old Banco Brown was shot dead by an armed security guard during what police are calling a shoplifting incident last week. His mentor, Xavier Davenport, worked with him through the Young Women's Freedom Center. He described Banco as a transgender man and a community Okay, organizer. transgender man, what is that? That's a woman that becomes a man, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. so. No, no, no. Yeah, you treated on the head first time. Wait, well, wait, wait, are you sure about that? Are you sure that's not a transgender man would be a man that's becoming a, a transgender? Woman? No, no. A <laughs> transgender man is a woman who becomes a man. Yeah, exactly. A woman pretending so, to be a man. So this and this guy was the mentor, right? Yeah. So I have I have a message for that guy. Nice job. 
yeah. security guard during what police are calling a shoplifting incident last week. His mentor, Xavier Davenport, worked with him through the Young Women's Freedom Center. He described Banco as a transgender man and a community organizer. Banco was a quiet, quiet boy, um, but very loving and very helpful. Look at this motherfucker. God damn. Goofy ass. Like, my what? boy. What? He's a boy. Yo, these people are crazy. He, all he was was a bull dyke. A dom, a dyke, whatever you call He's it, whatever sh- city. Oh, yeah, from. yes. He's she That's it. Yeah, she moon. Yeah, he's a fucking she moon. He looked like, look like he was walking inside of Walgreens and take two. Yeah. Quiet, quiet boy, um, but very loving and very helpful. Uh, loved children, um, loved to be able to give back to the other people that were kind of like him. District Attorney Brooke Jenkins said surveillance video shows that Banco used physical force, violence, and threats of violence during the encounter. This was a senseless death. Xavier said Banco spent years couch surfing in the Tenderloin. The group demanded city officials, including the mayor and organizations, do more to invest in and house young people, specifically black trans youth. This Walgreens has been more harmful to black community um, more than anything. A bunch. <laughs> yeah, well, because good, they they're about to leave fucking town. They're going to do every other that, that, you know, Nordstrom, Nordstrom major, major department store just closed both of their stores. Huge stores. They just closed both of their San Francisco stores. Yeah. Did they close them in D.C. too? And, uh, and, 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 and that Walgreens is probably the last one left in 50 miles. And they're gonna, they should leave. They should, I'll they close. should back up. After I heard this guy talking, I'm closing that shit down. Fuck that. Yo, do you understand that black people, this guy would be eating grubs and running around with a bone through his nose with fucking paint made of ashes in a fu- naked through the fucking jungle. In the village in Africa. Africa. Come, he on, for I, 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 come on, he's in, San, uh, he's in San Francisco. He's probably doing it right now. Yeah, this exactly. This is this is a this is a this. His yeah, but in San Francisco, life, that kind of shit costs extra. <laughs> yeah, exactly. His, his quality of life is 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 so much better than it would be if he was if 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 slavery would have never happened. Without slavery and colonization, this guy would be fucking sitting around a, a makeshift fire, like fucking barbecuing a squirrel. <laughs> Outside of a fucking hut made out of straw and mud, with his <laughs> wife, with his wife, with her boobs down to her feet. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and everyone fucking knows it, man. It's no bullshit. It, what I just said is a hundred percent fact. And they're fucking talking about Walgreens has brought more problems to black people. This Walgreens has been more harmful to black community. Um, more than anything, a bunch of people steal from this Walgreens every single day. I know because I used to be a loss prevention manager <laughs> for years. Oh my god, <laughs> this story gets crazier and crazier, man. It's a sense why he don't work there no more. This is story is crazier and how crazier. almost more than a decade. Why is this black land. young boy? Um, had to be taken away from something so senseless that everybody in this community and everybody around San Francisco does. Xavier said he last spoke to him a month ago. So if everybody does it, if everybody does it, it should just happen. And where does the community first? First, it was white people do it too. Now it's everybody do it. So I can't figure out why a loss prevention manager wouldn't be able to keep a job with that kind of fucking mindset. And where does the community community get their meds from? That's why I don't know. He said that it's harmful or whatever, harmful to the community. So where does the community get their um pills from and their medicine and all that shit? Right, yeah, their diabetes. Where's medicine, Granny their, getting their insulin from? High blood pressure medicine, all these things that black people got. Yes. Sickle cell oh, medicine. Yeah. Like, what, what gives you the right to talk? You know, for the for the sun man. Who are you to talk for the sun man? I mean, if I walk inside it. I don't have no issues. You know, just don't steal. It's just insane, man. Yeah, it's, it's it's this guy. He has a vote. All these people get to vote. 
We haven't we haven't heard one sane person in 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 San Francisco yet. I'm I'm sure there are some sane people in San Francisco. We just haven't heard one yet. I, I, get, I give Sam I give San Francisco five more years. It's going to be downtown Camden. Greens has been more harmful to black community um, more than anything. A bunch of people steal from this Walgreens every single day. I know because I used to be a loss prevention manager for Old Navy for years, for almost more than a decade. Why this black young boy um, had to be taken away from something so senseless that everybody in this community and everybody around San Francisco does. Xavier said he last spoke to him a month ago when Banco shared that he was experiencing hardships. He wanted to actually be a fashion designer and, and design clothes. Um, so of course, what black person is dead didn't want to do hair or be a fashion designer or some shit? I mean, like, you know, I saw, I, saw, I, saw, I, I saw an interview with this kid, this Mexican kid, man. He was working at Amazon and, and doing DoorDash and every other job. But but, but these guys all want to be like well, fashion had a designers. Feature. Yeah, it's like we they they act right like Sirocco Corey Moore. They act like he, like something was stopping him from doing. Like what was stopping him from doing? It wasn't being trans because if you're trans and you show up somewhere and say you want a job, they have to fucking hire you. That was a fucking lawsuit. But plus, so, plus at Amazon, they don't care if you as long as you can lift a box, man. And you heard what that guy said he no he tried to normalize stealing. He said, everybody does this shit, man. It's like, yeah. These people are crazy, man. Um, this, it's, this, this just came across my TV. Jordan Neely's death ruled a homicide after Subway chokehold. Oh, my God. You bullshit me, man. Well, the guy, no. the guy that put the guy that put the uh, New York. Yeah, the guy that, uh, that put the uh, kid in the chokehold that had 40 arrests. Yeah, the jarhead. He's Damn, that's a, that's such a yeah. tone. The right, jarhead. but if he wanted to be a fashion designer, should he, wouldn't he have like a tablet or wherever he you know he draw or create you know his little artwork in? Where is that? Yeah, at? He had present, a yellow like, hat, a yellow sweatshirt. I'd like present. I'd like present that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Community and everybody around San Francisco does. Xavier said he last spoke to him a month ago when Banco shared that he was experiencing hardships. He wanted to actually be a fashion designer and, and design clothes. Um, so he had a future. He had a bright future. Sirocco Corey Moreland is also a black trans man. We're be raised or we're, we're neglected, right? What? Uh, that, that, yeah, that no, is, that I, think, I think black trans man, man he's, he's heading over. He's a, he's a girl. That's a, that's a he, woman. He's a this girl a right woman. now. Can you tell? Yeah, that's a biological woman. That's a biological woman. No, no, not a biological. No, not a biological woman. That's a biological man who is right now a woman. But you don't have to change anything anymore. Full of fucking hormones. No, that's a woman. That's a woman. No, you got a fucked up woman. That is a woman. That's a girl, man. So you mean they grew a better beard than I can? Hold on, hold on. A black trans man is a woman. Who is pretending to be a man? Yes. Yeah. I think. Exactly. I'm pretty sure. That's what a black trans man is, man. With a nice beard like that. Yes. Yeah, they can. But, yes. No, I don't know. Hormones. It's hormones, hormones, man. Are, hormones are a motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> Trust and believe, man. I got family members, man. Yeah, look Trust at it. Look how he's twisting his uh his chin and his cheek. Yeah, it's confusing, but that's what a trans man is, man. It's not the other thing. Sirocco Corey Moreland is also a black trans man. We're be raised or we're, we're neglected, right? We're here and we're making noise. You hear the voice? Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me let me get this straight. Supposedly, you already have enough problems just simply being a sun man in America. Now you're going to do this too? You're crazy, I mean, yeah. These people are just gay. These people well, are just gay, man. Trans is a new, new, well, is a well, new well, thing. Well, well August, like, like August, like the thing you said the other night, like how, how the um the glacier glider uses that as an, as an excuse to be like, you know, 
the the the, the um yeah, the sons do the same shit too, but we get an advantage because we're the son, and it's basically hey, I'm gay, I'm trans now, and trans is the movement right now. Yeah, what well, it's like what you yeah, what you mean? Why why would they use like why would they want to be trans? The shit get so much fucking privilege. You get so much fucking benefits out of the shit. It's like yeah. why not? Yeah, yeah. But is that worth the razor burn? Shit. Yeah, man, it's 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 fucking crazy, man. This is these are just gay people, man. This is just he's just a, he's just a homo, man. Sirocco Corey Moreland is also a black trans man. We're be raised or we're, we're neglected, right? We're here and we're making noise. We have been making noise for years, but the situation at hand is that it, it it's really just really screwed up at the fact that we're here and it's because one of our own were killed because they didn't have access. Hold on, man. No, he didn't get killed because he didn't have access to nothing. He got killed killed because he assaulted the security guard. That that looks like a fucking guy, man. Not no 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 bullshit. Like I'm confused now. Yeah. Yeah, but you hear that voice crack that's a woman, but it looks like a guy. Trust me, that, man, I got feeling. As men. sun men, as sun women, they, I think they just naturally look more like sun men than any other race. Like our women look like more like us than any other race. I feel like, I don't know. Nah, the Asians, the Asians. I, 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 I had a lot of. I mean, I'm from D.C., PG County, D.C. They not rough. The, the, the girls look good down there, man. I don't know what you're talking about, but maybe with your town, man, like you might live in Philly or something like that. I'm from Chicago. We, we, no, we got, rough time. No, yeah, I, we got We got some nice looking sisters down where I'm from. I mean, but we yeah, got some like this, 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 about that out here, man. This, uh, this, to, this here, he, to he to. Uh, started out uh, already physically uh, challenged, I think, because uh, you don't get there. Wow. Holy smokes. Anyway. That's years. If this was, in fact, a woman. I mean, if this is that fact a woman, you know, presenting as a woman, that's they have to have years and years and years of testosterone, and it it would it would, it would drastically change your 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 your, your physical makeup. D- DNA dude, DNA wise, that's DNA wise, that's still that is still a woman, but a, a jacked up woman from you know from no, testosterone. That, that is, now hold on, let me now now look at him next to look at those nah, shoulders, good. look at them shoulders, man. Nice, yeah. <laughs> That, that that's a guy, man. That's a guy, man. Nah, that's a woman. That's a woman. That's a woman. Trust me, that's a woman. It's, it's all it's all madness to me, basically. That's it's no, all madness. That's a guy. I'm, I'm gonna say that woman. Fuck that shit. Say that's, a guy, man. That, that's, that, that's a guy. Oh, and they, and oh. they try and they try and they try oh, to get trans oh. benefits. <laughs> that's a guy who's saying that he's trans, <laughs> but he just not. He just saying it. He just like. Now that voice though, listen to the voice off. Oh. But they said he's that voice. voice cracking. It's too light. They oh, no, said he, he could be he could have that voice and be that like look like that and be gay, and he would have that voice. He's the tallest one out there. Nice. It's just it, I I think that that's a man, man. I would be interested in what the chat got to say. One for man. They could all be very short too. One one I for mean, man. That little sissy dog right there. One for man, two for woman, chat. One for man. That's two. Two for woman. I think that's a fucking man, though. I, I mean, I'm usually good with this stuff, man. I, his aura, his energy isn't fucking woman. Yes. He wanted to actually be a fashion designer and, and design clothes. Um, so he had a future. He had a bright future. Sirocco Corey Moreland is also a black trans man. We're be raised or we're, we're neglected, right? We're here and we're making noise. Sirocco Corey Moreland. So his name is Corey. And he now he calls himself Sirocco. No, nah, but you could change the name too. Remember that. Yeah, I know white chicks that were named Corey. Noise. We have been making noise for years, but the situation at hand is that it, it, it's really just really screwed up at the fact that we're here and it's because one of our own were killed because they didn't have access to any resources. I'm hoping for this Walgreens to be shut down. The next thing I'm hoping for is that these organizations, that there's more integrity that's put in. Don't worry about that. They're going to leave anyway. They're going to leave hey, on hey, the Hey, Ark, you remember that show Gladiator? Yeah. 
Look up the, ch- the the girl. She she looks down here in Massachusetts now. Look at the girl Storm. How she looks now. Trust me. Like that 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 right there is a girl. I, I, I'm Not just... this one. The other guy. The other person on camera. I'm, I'm both. Just... Yeah, the other one. The other one we saw more. Not this, not this guy, this idiot. You said Storm looks like a guy now. Storm is Storm is Storm is a is a guy now. No, nah, she no, nah, she 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 ain't like do, playing that doing that role in that, but the way she looks is crazy. She looks just like a man. Like a straight up dude. And she's trans. No, nah, she's just regular. She's just regular. She just looked like a straight up dude, like a straight up guy. But if you hear a voice and all that, you're like, that's a girl shit. She got the shoulders and all that shit. She's she's big and all the strongest shit. We got it bad, Joe. What? I said we got it bad. Oh no, no. Man, I don't know where you to what y'all be sitting, man. Man, listen, man. I, I don't man, I had dimes and shit, man. Y'all, God damn. y'all, y'all all these... that, that's a dude. That's a dude. Y'all be y'all be talking about the crazy I, shit about I, all these sisters. They are women. I Sad never women. had a sister look like a, I never had a girlfriend look like a man. Say I, I say, women look at I, I never. I had a girl look like a man, but I'm saying like they got never. They got chicks that look like that out here. Bro. I never. I'm talking about never had a girl that looked like a man. All oh, no, not, not niggas, personally. All my joy niggas hated on me. Niggas was like, niggas used to hate me. Straight <laughs> <laughs> up, man. I ain't never had all these man looking women y'all be talking about, man. I don't know, man. Man, I ain't even deal with no chick too skinny with too much shoulder and back. <laughs> definition going on, I man. I don't like too much definition. Uh, chicks, they don't look as soft. Our chicks look a little more hard. And that PG, shit, PG County. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know what you talking about, Jack. But anyway, <laughs> man. Anyway, man, that that's 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 your experience, though. I mean, I, I, I <laughs> man. respect. I just ain't had that, man. I ain't had that, man. I I, I had. <laughs> it was bad. Niggas just be mad, man. Man, fuck, man, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, man, I'm. <laughs> Ass nigga, I was bitch ass nigga, man. Mm. <laughs> Shit, man, they just be hating, man. But um, yeah. For years, but the situation at hand is that it, it it's really just really screwed up at the fact that we're here, and it's because one of our own were killed because they didn't have access to any resources. I'm hoping for this Walgreens to be shut down. The next thing I'm hoping for is that these organizations, that there's more integrity that's put into place in these organizations and how they're actually running, who gets beds, who gets housing. All right. To go back to the sequence of events, the rally happened by the community. Charges were dropped against the guard. He was supposed to be arraigned tomorrow. So that's clearly not happening. That's right. And at the rally, community members were urging others to show up at the arraignment mm-hmm. tomorrow afternoon at the Hall of Justice to show the family support. But that was before we learned of the latest developments from the DA. All right, Betty, you. Thank you. It's a good idea, mm-hmm. So no charges. That's good, man. This is- that's good, man. Um, leave that lead fucking security guard alone. Um, somebody said Lil Rock earlier, man. Um, Jesus Christ, man. Um, oh, I know it, dude. You one of the manosphere niggas, ain't you? Um, who the guy? Who the guy? Nah, not say? even. I cannot even. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. You want to see your manosphere, nigga? No, no, I'm not saying they look like men. I'm saying they look a little harder. I'd be like, I'd be like, damn, dog. So you basically saying that you used to date with (laughs) That shit's funny. (laughs) Like, nah, not me. I ain't confident that. Even if it was like that, I wouldn't say it. Um, (laughs) That's all I do. No disrespect to black no, I'm not saying no. You can disrespect me if you want. I'm just saying that talking point with that they look like men. I heard that on, on from a lot of men's videos, and I'd be like, and I just be like, bro, I don't. I yeah, I can't relate to that. So you, My bitches look like bitches, man. <laughs> 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 so, I'd be like, 
That's why I be like, when I be hearing them say that shit, I be like, so you know that you're saying, you know what you're saying, right? They like yeah. a girl, like a man. <laughs> you want that <laughs> Kevin Gates shit? Yeah, you want a man, basically. You know what I mean? Nah, nah. <laughs> man, man. And then don't get me wrong, I know there are, but like all of them, nah. If you go not to, all of them, not if you all go of them. Zanzibar yes. or Club Dream or Love back in the day in DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. HTO. Hey, you got to let these low. niggas live their like, true role. All these men. Like, <laughs> 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 like, Dang, you been chasing bitches around? Bro. Right, right. Here's what the Zanzibar, though. What? Oh, man. I just don't know. Yeah, I just be like, yo, you got when you. I get what you're saying, and don't get me wrong. I get what you're saying. Like, like some, some of these bras be ugly and shit. But you just got to be like, when you saying that, you got to make, you got word it right. Like there's, a, there's, a diff, there's a difference between an <laughs> ugly girl and what we just saw. Yeah, we just saw two men. And here's the thing, too. Like, I, 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 I would tell you guys that say all that stuff about black women, move to a town, a white town like mine. Man, there are some god off. I listen, I still haven't seen a like a fur faucet, um, Scarlett Johansson. I haven't seen one in this whole town, and I've been here for two years. You're in the wrong neighborhood, man. That's that's the same. I seen, I, and, and it's all gliders. They all look a little hardened and rough. This is like middle America type shit. 